Filmmaker and actress Carla Ortiz has just recently returned to Los Angeles after months in Syria, helping those who've been dealing with the worst of the war-torn country. She's been working on a documentary about the bloody civil war. It's called Voice of Syria. And she joins us now. We're going to Jebel bedroom because it's the place where they are liberating people and they're letting them pass and uh, free from the east side of Aleppo to the west side. See a clip of the documentary there. She joins us now to talk more about this heart-wrenching crisis in Syria and her experiences there. Good to see you, Carla. Thanks for being on the program with us. Thank you, Logan. Thank Tell you us what your seeing. observations are. You were there four times. You've spent uh, numerous <laughs> days there talking to people. Yes, it's been basically eight months of my experience, and I uh, cover a close to 75 percent of the area of the country. I've been in places of explosions of terrorist attacks. I've been in places that are protected by the government, but it's still explosions happen. I had the opportunity to talk to many children, uh, to many mothers. Uh, I was in Palmyra when they were took it back. I was at the museum where all the statues were beheaded as well. Mm. Um, and I was uh, the last 10 days in Aleppo, and I was, I'm not a journalist, you know, I am not a blogger. I was just doing my documentary, filming my documentary, and it happened right on the 10 decisive days where Aleppo uh, from one side was freed and liberated from the other side. You heard that it was being burned. In uh, reality, you know, uh, there's no first-hand um, news. And I was there. I was right there in six different front lines. And I talked to the people when they were getting on the, on the buses. I talked to the people at the shelters. And actually, the evacuation wasn't burning. There was not mass shooting anywhere on the streets. Of course, there was a mass bombing at the moment before the evacuation happened because they were trying, um, they're trying to finish this, that it got so complicated and out of hand for the international community and all, the worst for the Syrian people. Uh, so you see this, yeah. and it breaks your heart because nobody wins a war. Nobody who declares, I won the war. Everybody dies from each side, you know, and what hurts the most are precisely the children. So the film is being edited, should be out this summer. We're looking at some of the images. I can't imagine the horrors that you have witnessed, but also your safety. You say you were... Kid attempted kidnapping? Yeah, well, um, I was kidnapped a couple of times. Um, it's really complicated. Not only on Aleppo, you have uh, over 47 um, rebel groups, and among them are the mother rebels that they basically got dissolved among the actual terrorists. So it is very hard to know because they basically sell you and pass you from one place to the other and they press, you know, they put a price on your head. I'm lucky to have an American passport. So for them, I was American and I was very lucky to be able to get out. But after the liberation of Aleppo, because I was posting on my Facebook the real story and I was saying, who are these fake accounts from Twitter that are saying that Aleppo is burning, they're mass shooting? I'm right here at the front line. I have no Twitter on East Aleppo. There is no way, no connection, no electricity for more than 75 days. And you're telling me, who is these people? So they, there was an order to, uh, to kidnap me uh, at uh, 7 o'clock at night. And it was probably <laughs> the craziest experience because Everybody, like the citizens, you know, came because they already got to know me. I've been in the country for eight months, and I've been telling exactly what my eyes have been seeing. And uh, I had more than 16 kids, like, got in the car, some of them with weapons, uh, people from the actual Syrian army that got in and said, we're going to cross you through, because they put the stops on, in, in, uh, on homes, on the way from Aleppo to homes. They had to, I had to lay down on the, on, on the van, and they had to put my team in the other cars. And we had to cross, and they were saying to me, we're putting our chest for you, but please just when you get to America, tell them the truth. We just need this war to finish. We just need this war to end. How do you think it will finish? It's been going on for six years. What needs to happen? Uh, you, need, you know, I think the most important thing is that we need to review our policies. Um, we got with uh, good intentions, you know, to support this uh, uh, opposition uh, moderate. Uh, it doesn't exist anymore. It went out of hand. It's been six years. Mm -hmm. And I think this administration has precisely failed on reviewing this and trying to get to an agreement. And I think now we have to make not a political revision on this. We need to make a human revision mm -hmm. on this. Okay. It's 
a quarter, almost a quarter million people dead. Where will we find your documentary when it's finished? <sighs> I will be um, hopefully in, um, in March or April and hopefully we'll be releasing in some of the film festivals. Okay. And um, I mean, I'm going to be very happy to share with the world yeah. what just Syrian people want. They want the same as us. It's peace. You are an actress. Why would you want to risk your life and do all this? You know, I've uh, always, uh, as a Bolivian girl, um, I've always cared for, uh, for everybody else. And I, I relate to humanity in a very different way because we grew up with indigenous mm -hmm. and with European people. And uh, I went to the university at Georgetown University and mm -hmm. I had a lot of uh, Arabic friends. And I think there's this okay. um, Islamophobia happening and we are misunderstanding precisely because of okay. the fundamentalism of uh, Islam. Well, thank you so for... we, just, we just need to try to get along. What thank you so much for coming on the program. The movie is called Voice of Syria. We'll look for it. Carla Ortiz, thanks thank for being you so here. Much. Thanks thank so you much. Very much.